you have above is a six-word memoir. Maybe you have heard of them. In 2008, a small paperback was published with the title, Not Quite What I Was Planning, Six-Word Memoirs by Famous Writers and Obscure Writers. I had not heard of the book until one night last August when I was wandering around Powell's Bookstore in Portland, Oregon. Powell's is an institution and is a square block big. An incredible number of books sit on shelves hither and yon. It is always a special experience to wander Powell's. On this particular night, I found myself in a section of the store I normally do not visit, self-improvement. Not that I don't need a dose. I noticed on an end cap a small book titled, Love and Heartbreak, Six Word Memoirs. What caught my eyes was the phrase, Six Word Memoirs. Knowing that a memoir is a personal story, I wondered how in heck you could tell a story in six words. I am in the words business, so the challenge intrigued me. I scanned the book and noticed that the first book these folks published was not the not quite title. I looked down the row and found that book. Looking through it was mind-bending. I bought it and that was part of my reading on the flight back to Wisconsin. I was really captured by the idea that people were summoning up their lives or a watershed moment in just six words. Before the wheels hit the tarmac in Milwaukee, I was musing about six word memoirs for officiating. Anyway, I am getting ahead of myself. To give you a taste of the exercise, here are a few from the book. Ten strikes against me, hit home run. Another, I tried, it was not enough. Ex-wife and contractor, now have house. Type A personality, type B capability. And then there's, I auditioned, I got the part. Or, aspiring lady pirate disillusion, sells boat. How about, Revenge is living well without you. Say no now, I now know. Or, girlfriend is pregnant, my husband said. Giraffe born to a farm family. How about this? I recognize red flags faster now. Was bored. Went skydiving, now quadriplegic. How about that for a wow six-word memoir? Another, followed rules, not dreams, never again. And then the last one, bad breaks discovered at high speed. You undoubtedly get the idea, intense, insightful, incisive. Those are powerful personal thoughts being shared in just six words. When I got into the office the next day, I mentioned the concept to our editors. They thought it had possibilities, an interesting way to capture how those of us in officiating think about officiating. An email was sent to a number of our friends and associates and soon the memoirs began to roll in. Some are amazingly insightful. One, from former NFL referee Jerry Markbright, he speaks the man's DNA. Jerry said, all my best friends are officials. And this one from Mike Pereira, Fox Sports Rules Analyst. Judged officials, now they judge me. Or this one from NBA referee Violet Palmer, I am more than my job. Powerful thoughts bearing the soul. And yes, of course, I had to do mine, which is, felt sports officials needed their voice. I had that memorialized on a t-shirt. Makes me feel good when I wear it. So what might yours be? Not an easy assignment, but fun. Got one to share? Send it to editor at referee.com. And remember, it is to be a memoir, not a maxim, which is telling others how to act. A memoir found my calling by flunking out. Thank you.